This is code.org, and we're about to add two numbers. Hopefully. Fancy. Um, all right, let's see. In my console.java, instantiate a scanner object called input. We should be pros at this. I want to point out, though, like I have been, guys, use your resources. Click on Bubble 2. They give us some info here, right? Programmers, all the time. All the time. It's why Stack Overflow exists. Look at other code to get an idea. Use your resources. So if you're worried you're going to type this wrong, copy it. You do need to learn it, though, right? So you don't do this every time, because if you don't learn it on a test, on the exam, yikes. But I'm going to hit paste, right? And sometimes I'll even do this and then write it out myself, just so I know I got it. Equals new, spinner, and then you need this system end parameter or uh, argument. Boom, so we got that down. Now, if you're wondering this argument, you could also put in something like a new file. It just tells the computer where to direct the input. That's what's happening here. All right, so prompt the user to enter a number and use next input. All right, so, and again, guys, use your resources. I'm gonna type this fully myself, but system out print, right? That's how we could do this. And notice they don't do LN, so it's all gonna be on the same line when they enter some text. And then I'm gonna just, do this exactly. Enter the first number. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. I do the space so we'll have a space when we prompt the user to do it. And then do they tell us the variable? I'll use their convention, which is what they did in two. Oh no, it's not what they did here. Well, that's fine. I'm going to use int. Oh, I think it's what they did in part one. Int first. All right. So this will be the first value. You could even have it be first number if you want. Yeah, they just call it first and second. So first equals, and then as it states, let's do input dot next int. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Let's give this a shot, right? We should test things a lot because I mess things up a lot. I bet you do too, maybe. And so it's just a great idea to test early and often. 55. Okay, so no errors yet. That's looking good. Cool. Let's keep going. Get the second number. All right, and I'm going to be a bit lazy this time. I've already written all this out. Copy that. Paste. Okay, give me the second. And then let's call this second. Cool. And now I need to get the sum. So I'm going to have this be a new variable. Int sum is going to be equal to what? Well, the first number, right? Plus the second. Cool. And now finally, we need... To... Oh, wait, aren't we going to print it? That'd be super lame. Boom, they do. And guys, please use your resources right here. Great reference. Oh, look, bam. Oh, look, how do they do this? Okay. And again, I want to practice this, but we have all access to all of these resources so we can see examples as we go. All right. And I'm going to follow them exactly. What did they write here? Oh, they just did the sum is cool space. Boom, boom, and then I'm going to put sum. And I'm putting sum because that's what I call the variable. Yep, and cool. Cool. All right, and then close the scanner, right? We don't have any variable named scanner. We have a variable, an object named input. So, because input is our scanner this time. That's what we named the instantiation of, that's what we named the object that we instantiated. So, quapow, let's give it a shot. Enter your first number, two. I hope you're good at this so you can check my math. Ready? Six. Sum is eight. What do you guys think? It's correct. Yes, it's correct. Why, thank you, person on the other. I sound like a crazy person. Oh, well, we did it. Ba-da! Onward.